Hi, today I'm gonna show you how to unlock the new Warlock skin uh, for Hearthstone using a fake GPS uh, location uh, instead of going trying to go to a tavern brawl since it's quite buggy and not always easy for everybody. So the idea is that we're gonna be using an emulator. So the emulator is called uh, well the one I'm using. I used and worked. It's called Nox Player. You can just you know uh, Google for for Nox Player and download the first result. So once you launch uh, Nox Player, well you have an Android interface, and the idea is that uh, it's quite easy, especially with an emulator, to fake the location. So to fake the location, we're going to be using an application called Fake GPS, and for the application to work, there is a setting to activate. But I think the optimized order is to first download Hearthstone. At the beginning, in Nox Player, it's not here, so you need to go to the Play Store and then download Hearthstone and also Fake GPS. And since it's going to take a while to download Hearthstone fully, while waiting, you can do the Fake GPS thing. So, to activate the fake GPS, you need to go to the settings, then about tablet, and where is the build number, I think, yes. Uh, you have to click 10 times, uh, and at some point it will tell you, oh, you need to press 5 more times, 3 more times, oh, you're now a developer. So once uh, the tablet recognizes you as a developer, you get the developer options hidden uh, menu. And so once it's enabled, you go to allow mock locations. It's about the GPS locations you will see in any language, you should be able to understand this. And you activate it. That way you can now go to fake GPS and use uh, a location that you like. Now you go to search, you can press some uh, uh, latitude and longitude. I'm not gonna show actual coordinates since that way it's gonna be easier uh, or harder for Blizzard to track the fake uh, the taverns used for the exploits. I'll let you google that. Once you get a good location you can just launch Hearthstone. <laughs> it's good Assu to see you again. Assuming, of course, that uh, it's already downloaded. Be sure to check your region and everything. And then, well, as you can see, it has like some kind of bug. You can go to Fireside Gathering, scan. Right now I'm having a doubt, maybe I didn't click on the green button at fake GPS. So maybe I didn't apply my fake location. Well, we will see. Okay, it didn't really work since this is the innkeeper um, well, uh, sign and we want an actual tavern brawl sign. So that means that I didn't work, I'm in a, an empty fireside gathering, which might be my own. So we're gonna close our stone and yes, click the play, yeah, exactly. I didn't uh, apply the map location, so small mistake on my on my own. But this way, you will be able to be more careful about that. So the sign thing is important. If you see the innkeeper with the Hearthstone log on top of it, it means you are attending a fireside gathering, and that will not unlock the an MC skin. 
so. Where have your journeys taken you? Set on track. Uh, yes, here you see that I'm uh, at a Chinese uh, tavern with, uh, well, you know, it's not no longer the innkeeper sign. So, in the meantime, well, you don't really need to do that, but uh, you can just assume that there is somebody there that's gonna challenge you. You know, you go to 3v3. the audio because it's getting very annoying. So there is a funny thing is that if you have used the mock location thing, um, at least for me, with the main hearthstone afterwards, it still locates at you at the same place. So it's useful because you can do this that way if you have two accounts play against each other. So here we are. Let me go to Nox, choose a class. And now here I see myself. I pick a class to You don't really need the second Hearthstone instance here, I'm just using it to showcase. Uh, but the idea is that there should be people at the tavern willing to to accept the challenge. So here ha I have, by the way, the, the instructions. Uh, yeah, and then uh, or this coordinates. There GPS up. And then go to three v three brawl. Third game. You can concede, and that I'm gonna show you to you right now. You can concede after having played. So, uh, yeah, wherever. Let's see at the next. I'm looking for cheap cards just to be able to concede quickly. Job's done. Classic coin hero power warlock. That's how you get a skin. <laughs> Hiya, friend. I'm awesome. <laughs> You'd make a 
cute puppet. Impressive. You win this time. So the only thing right now, it might not work because Artakan 5 and Madame Imstone are friends. But in theory, I mean, you get your opponent left the game too early to, for you to earn rewards. That happens, but usually, yeah, you get the Nemzi Necrophysal skin. So that's it. I'm gonna put the 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 notepad notes on the side, maybe. So that's it. That's how you can get the NMC Necrophysal skin and without uh, leaving uh, the comfort or of your chair. Especially because the far side gathering thingy is quite complicated for some people and I think it's kind of unfair from Blizzard to have made such a hard skin to get for some people. Anyways, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share if you found this useful.